Hit the like button, you mugs. Yo, 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 it's Aussie Kid here today doing the John Lineker showcase. One of the most underrated bantam weights and one of my favorites to use. I'm fighting the answer, my guy, the answer, a legend in the scene. This should be a good fight. But, um,. Don Lineker's, Don Lineker's got a lot of great things about him, obviously his height is an issue But other than his height, his power is crazy Good cardio, good bottom, he's got good submissions from the ground Good ground, I'd say good ground game But his power is actually, is actually ridiculous, you know, his power is crazy So I see several teeps. That's that. Like, I can tell he's going to be throwing that teep a lot. So I'm going to look to sidestep that. Maybe I see the one two. Might maybe stick that one two. Right, move out of range of the teep and and come in with the cross. Nice little body shots. I see him. I see these uh, lunges to the side. I see him lunging to the side quite a bit. Jab, jab, hook. Yeah, right. I was gonna try to catch him lunging there. I try to. I try to go for the lunging body jab. Is so, so, so short. If I did that with Nate Diaz, it would be a very big difference. Nate's Nate's lunging body jab is that covers a very long distance. But that's another issue that I have with John Lineker. Like I like to um, obviously you can use kicks with John Lineker, but I I like to just keep it boxing only, which is stupid to be honest. It's stupid because he's so short that. Uh, it's hard to hit people with his hands so you should use your kicks when you, you know you really really you should use your kicks because it's so short but when you do land though you can tell that um done a lot of damage to them so all right now he's starting to bring it back now i feel like i had I was winning in the beginning, but now it's starting to bring it back. And again, I see these teeps. It catches me over uppercut as I'm going for the body jab. All right. Yeah, right. There you go. That time, I caught him with the with the body jab. I'm expecting a cross uppercut. All right. I see he's sidestepping now. Look at his, if you guys notice, he keeps sidestepping. He's doing that over and over again. So, he, so since he keeps sidestepping, I need to try to tie my body hook, catch him sidestepping. And it's going to be risky because if I get caught by an uppercut trying to do that, then I'm going to be, then I'm going to get fucked. But on to uppercut, I see. But I'm gonna try to time this body hook when he's sidestepping. I feel like I kinda know when he's gonna do it. There you go, sneaking a little body hook there. See a lot of one twos now. I'm gonna look at to slip the one two. But like I was saying, like I was saying before, like I don't like a I don't like to just wait for someone to throw and try to counter them. Like I like to make it so it's literally like organic when you when you counter them. It's not good to try to force it because it's like when you just stare at them, yeah, and wait for them to throw. It's like they know they know that you're literally trying to counter them and you're just waiting on waiting to counter. So always always backfires on me. I'll be like, ah, oh. I'll be like, I bet you he's gonna throw a jab hook, so I'll just stare at him, wait, 
and I'll wait for him to throw a jab hook and it's like they know that I'm that I'm gonna pull back the second shot and then all of a sudden he will throw a one two catch me leaning back and then it's just, and it's just ah fucking but, but bang, just a bunch of shit I hate I hate when that happens brother and, and always make sure that I never make that mistake to just wait for them to throw It's better off just using your timing and, uh, like I said, just get the counter organically if you can. Oh, stamina is quite, quite low there. Uh, that was bad. He caught me with a body kick as out, and I was leaning away from it, so he done, so he got extra damage on that. But I like this fight though. So far, it's been very, it's been a clean, very clean fight as of right now. As of right now, very clean. Gonna see if it stays like this. I know I'm not gonna cheese. Oh, I should have slipped that. Oh, I should have slipped that. One, two, body kick, very nice. I might duck, try to duck his second shot. Oh, almost ducked his hook there. Almost ducked his hook there. Slipped his cross, I was gonna go for the uppercut counter. But John Lineker's arms are so short, but they had right at the end rocking with a nice cross. Say this is a very close fight. Anyone can win this, let's <clears throat> and there. Try to go for the body jab once again. Look how how short it is man for me so short catch him there nicely and again catch him very nicely that might be it see when I drop people with John Lineker I, I expect to finish them on the cage whereas when I use like Nate Diaz whenever I drop them I always expect to not finish them so pretty that's why it's, it's fun it's interesting to use John Lennon for me it's a very big difference it's very different to what I'm used to catch him again with the cross uppercut this is working very well uh, this is working very well catch him there nice that should be it, I think let's see if he's gonna bobble head and he did bobble head but I don't me personally I don't really see the I don't see bobble head as cheese you know I'm not gonna lie in my opinion is I don't think it's cheese because I think the top mount is so overpowered that you should be allowed to bobble head and I think it's I think top mount is just stupidly I think it's just OP and stupid I'm not gonna lie to you Drops me there. Right, I've got to be careful throwing the cross uppercut now. I think he's probably expecting it. Because I've dropped him with it many times. Alright, I was expecting a cross after the after the hook, but he went down low. Look at that, look at that cross, that's the power I'm talking about. Another benefit, another benefit uh, about using short fighters is your your shots are just quicker, like, when I throw a, when I throw a rear body hook with John Lineker, it's a lot quicker than if I was to do that with Nate Diaz, because it's because, just because Nate's reach is so long, it takes ages to, to wrap around the body, if you get what I mean. Expecting a double jab there. 
That one was pretty close. I need to start hitting the body now. I'm thinking to... There you go, nice cross now. Right, that was a sick fight, lads. Hope, I hope you guys enjoyed that fight. I definitely enjoyed it. On my level, never stop, I don't forget you. Man on my floor, so many on back on cell, got lots